Hello and welcome to IDM. In this video, I'm going to talk about the error that you might encounter while converting your disk from MBR partition to GPD partition style using uh, MBR to GPD command line utility. And the error says too many MBR partitions found and cannot create EFI system partitions. So without further ado, let's get started. So if I have a look on the disk partition, so if I right click my start button and go on to disk management, over here I have only three partitions, the system partition, boot partition and the recovery partition and I will be creating one more partition and I'll not be using this disk management because it will be creating a logical partition. So over here the machine is in legacy BIOS mode. If I go to disk properties, you can see that it is in MBR partition style. So I will be creating one more partition, a primary partition using the command line utility. So I'm going to open the command prompt as administrator. So press the start button and type in CMD and select run as administrator. So here I'm going to create one more partition. So I'll be shrinking the second partition. So disk part. And if I say list disk, I have three disks. So I'll select select disk zero. That is my first disk. And if I say list partition, I can see that there are three partitions. So I'll be selecting second partition. So cell par two. And then I will be shrinking it. So SHR for shrinking and minimum equals to 10240. So I'll be creating 10 gigs of partition. And then I will be formatting for quick and create partition primary. And then I will be formatting that partition. So let's close this. I don't want to do it from GUI. And for quick and assign the drive letter using as command. So now if I go back to the the disk partitioning utility here, you can see that one more partition have been created. So now if I try to convert my disk from MBR to GPD, you're gonna see that I'll get an error. So I'll just get out of here and clear the screen and MBR to GPT is the command and I'll be doing validation, validate and because I'm running on the operating system while it is running so allow full OS and you can see that disk layout validation is failing. Now what is the reason why it is failing? You can go on to the log file. So I'll go on to C drive windows and if I sort the files over here in descending order of modified so you can see setup error we're gonna show you the details that says that too many MBR partitions found and no room to create EFI system partition and if you want to see more details you can open this file and it will provide you the details that uh, which disk it is trying to convert and what all different partitions are there and partition types and all other details so finally you are getting this error too many MBR partition. Now to fix this issue what you need to do is you need to get rid of one of the partitions. So if you have some data partitions you can delete them or if you don't want to delete the data partition you can delete a recovery partition. So what I'll be doing is I'll be just deleting this recovery partition. Now as this recovery partition is containing a recovery image that is used for recovering your PC so what I'll be doing is I'll be disabling the recovery environment and then delete this partition. So for that again I'll be going on to this part. And before that I just get exit out of here and then disable the recovery. Reagent C slash info if you see that the recovery is sitting in partition number 3. That is the recovery partition around 500 megabytes. So to disable it I will do reagent C slash disable and that recovery got disabled. So now I can format that partition so disk part and then I can select disk 0 list partition and then I can select partition 3 cell partition 3 and I will do del par 
and because it is a system partition it will not allow me to delete I need to force it so you can see it gives me error so I'll say override and that partition got deleted now if I get back here to this management you can see that that partition got deleted and finally we have three partitions so when I run MPR to GPT it will be shrinking this boot partition to create a hundred megabytes of EFI partition so let's try that so I'll get out of this part clear the screen and MBR to GPT slash convert slash allow full OS and now it's trying to convert the disk and creating the EFI partition and installing the files in the EFI partition so you can see that the conversion completed successfully if we go back to disk management you can see the EFI partition got created I can close it and reopen to refresh the partition so right click and go on to disk management and now here you can see that all the partitions are okay now this 500 megabytes if you want to use it you can extend this volume to utilize that space okay so that's how you can see that I have successfully converted my partition style of the disk from MBR to GPT so I hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe